Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Now in this video, I'm going to show you the importance of creating components in SketchUp. Now in the previous video, we made the circle, but each of these objects here are actually groups. So if I enter a group and edit one of these, you can see that it is independent of the rest of them. So I need to go to each of these groups and make that change. And that's a big pain if you are modeling in SketchUp. And if there are thousands and thousands of groups, which are pretty much the same, but since they are not a component, you need to go to each of them and edit them out. So that's the importance of components where if you copy the same component and make this loop, and if you edit one, it would affect the rest of it as well. So let's quickly do that to help you understand components better. So I'm going to copy this group to the side here. So I'm going to use the move tool, press control on my keyboard to make a copy and click once that's created a copy now this is a group right so i need to make it a component simply right click and click on make component so this would make it a component you can give a name for this component you can call this typical box you can give a description if you like i generally don't give a description and you can leave the rest of the components as is we don't really use any of these much in sketchup unless you want to export it into an IFC, but that's for a later stage where we're going to talk about BIM and more about BIM modeling with SketchUp. But that's not for now. We keep that for later. So we only need to give a name. So I'm going to keep it as typical box and then simply click on create. So now I'm going to create the same loop. So let's make a line again. Maybe at 20 feet this time. All right. So to rotate this, select the group, press Q on your keyboard to activate the rotate tool. Press the top arrow key so that it snaps to the top axis. And now you need to click the base point, which you're going to rotate from. Click the reference point. You can maybe click even this end point as the reference point. Press Ctrl on your keyboard to activate the copy mode in rotate tool. And click on the end point to make a copy. Now you can type in X into 14. Press enter, maybe x15, and we are done. Now, since this is a component, if I enter the group and press P on my keyboard to activate the push tool, click once and drag it on top, you can see that the rest of the components change as well. So, components comes in handy when you're modeling something which is similar in the scene. For example, maybe railings, stair steps, stairs, some same furniture maybe like dining table chairs and so on it's important to make them a component if you don't make them a component you'll end up wasting a lot of time energy and it's not really efficient when it comes to modeling in sketchup so i hope you found this video useful do test out component in sketchup and we will learn how to use components later in the main course as well so I'll see you guys in the next video cheers